boom, 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 boom. Oh, we made a lot of progress. We have the whole hardware done. This is incredible what you can do these days, right? At home in just few days. When I was young, all we had was wooden sticks and mud. Everything is done except, uh, well, the software. But that's the easiest part. These are just buttons. You press the button, it will fire some uh, short key and that's all. All I need to do is just write a few lines of code and I will have it. I will have my own speed editor made by myself in just few days to my exact specifications. So I'm just going to show you only the key elements of the whole software as it is really trivial. I'm using encoder button library. In the setup you just uh, decide which handler to use. For example here I'm using click handler and then just write the function that should be executed. In this case I create a function called keypress that does that and also blinks the LED. Uh, so I don't just have to repeat it all the time. Now this library has different handlers. Click, double click, triple click, uh, long press. I pretty soon realized the limitation. First, uh, when you're using short keys, you expect that the action happen on key press, not on the click, which is the release. So this handler, set click handler, will call the function when you release the key. That's not what you expect. So in fact, for the most of the keys, I had to use the set preset handler instead. If I want a key to have one function for a press, like here, another function for long press, this would clash because once we get to long press, we already fired the event for the short press. So this works more like a function plus another function when I long hold the button. Just few last days of summer. Anyway, over the last uh, couple of days, I spent an enormous amount of time moving the keys around, like what each key will do on top of the morning. And yeah, it took me a lot. Every single button I have, I moved from one place to another. Yeah, my initial idea was to have a control alt here, to have a delete buttons here, to have an in and out here. I was messing with it so much. I just tried every possible combination and I changed everything. Someone is selling Bamboo Lab 3D printer on Marketplace. Ooh, maybe it's a time to upgrade my 3D printer. 55, 95, 105. No, it's 100 and 500. Okay, why 10 cents is smaller than 5 cents? How does that make any sense? I'm just wondering if the new 3D printer can print keycaps. Because my CR10 cannot. I mean, it can, but it looks like made of spaghetti. Yesterday was lunar eclipse and I have completely forgot about it. You know, when I was young, I thought that at this age, people would be going to the moon just for holidays. Yeah, but we have AI. Did I get a 3D printer or just a box? And here it is. Ta-da! It's already printing something. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Once you get new 3D printer, there is no end to it. I became obsessed with making keycaps. I even decided to redesign the wheel with the bottom with a TPU rubber for the best feel and with the lid. And look these holes there. 
I will put a little bearing balls just to make it extra heavy. version 1.2 with colorful buttons and a fancy wheel ooh so fancy the last row is actually much taller this way my fingers do not press two buttons on the same time finally I'm done I'm not going to change anything I'm not going to print another button or wheel or anything I'm not going to touch the software either so here is a little demonstration of the final version 1. Point whatever is 1.x wheel obviously works great I can also flick it wee going wee back which is absolutely great I really like that now if I want to go frame by frame I'll hold the control and then turn the wheel now I'm going frame by frame if I want to have a zoom, I will hold ALT and zoom. These buttons also have a, another function, which is when I'm holding the red button, I can go from edit to edit. Did I just uh, delete something here? Okay, let's see, zoom, undo, undo, and there we go. So I, I demonstrated the undo button. Redo button is holding it. Undo. These buttons also have the Ctrl and Alt function. So if I'm holding this, it's the same thing like holding Ctrl on my keyboard. I can actually use mouse to select multiple things. This is just like holding Alt on my keyboard. So I can actually drag and copy things. Now in and out. If I want to delete in and out, I'll just hold it. Boom. In, holding, out. Hold, display, Ooh. there is also a function which it's a little crazy, holding this and pressing this will go to the beginning and pressing this and I think double click will go to the end, but <laughs> as you can see that's just gymnastics. I wish I had a, another button here, now this is the blade split clip. So I can split here, I can split here. These are the two delete functions. Right? One is backspace and the other one is delete on the keyboard. Now let's undo everything here. Look at the blue LED. One, two, three. It turns into off mode. Nothing works now. So this is like a switch off. I'm pretty happy about the result of uh, my little controller. Everything what I ever wanted is there. So now let's talk about improvements for version 2.0 if I ever want to make one. I would add more buttons. Yes, I said I don't want to have too many buttons, but also I think it's two or three buttons less than I would like to have. For example, these buttons have too many special functions on them. It's Ctrl Alt, it's copy paste. Now, did I explain copy paste? I didn't explain the copy paste. So, oh. if I click it twice, it's copy. And if I click this one twice, it's paste. So, I pasted the same little clip. Let's undo everything. Again, these two buttons have too many functions. It's a Ctrl Alt, it's a copy paste, it's jumping through the edits, and it's also the mode of the wheel. Maybe that's a little bit too much. I, I do like it, but if I have three more buttons, I could probably unload some of the functions from these buttons. Another thing is, this one is some sort of modifier which can be used with other keys, but it doesn't really have any other functions. I would love to have one probably here as well. Modifier number two, which I can, for example, use with the play to go to the beginning also jumping between edits could be the special modifier and in and out instead of this and the last thing I would 
probably do in the version 2.0 is instead of holding key and moving the wheel I would have a toggle switch is just like in the original you know sometimes you have to learn from the professionals three different toggle switches if I press first one it will be the normal movement second one could be step by step third one could be zoom that would probably make more sense I do have the function to turn it into step by step without me holding when I press this one down it will turn into mode where I'm going only frame by frame probably having a toggle switches here like in the original would be more suitable okay so that's it I have to be a little bit quiet because it's night so this is all this is the end of our journey and I hope I inspired you to make something because these days it's super easy when I was young I couldn't do anything like that so good night <laughs>